You see, the more I die, the less health I have, and the more decomposed my face will get. So this is locked, but if you just whack it, it'll open up. I'm going to put a sign here, hopefully that someday it will um, heal me. <laughs> um. Looking for. Here we go. Try talking. Anything? I can't remember. Let's check. Nope. I think there's anything else in this room. So yes, Estes flash shard, small white soapstone, two very useful things. Line yourself up here and drop. So we are going to go back and upgrade our Estus. I don't like use going through my soul gems. I like only using them when I have to, but here in this early game, when you only have a couple sips of Estus, you're not really quick and you kind of have to use those soul gems, here. life gems, see, whatever. To see light. However, Open this guy. Go in here. Get our bow. And now if you rest at the bonfire and come back. He'll be in a shop. You. The name. And you. A man. Not. Oh. Well, quick. So you can reinforce your stuff with Tynite Shards. I don't have any souls. You can repair things that are broken. You can buy stuff. I'm gonna buy some. Okay, so the number here, 10, is how much they cost. Number here, 50? That's how many he has. So if it doesn't have a second number, there you can buy infinite amount. But if there's a number, that's all he has. I made them insect the first time I played through this with these Tynite Shards. I bought all of them, did not realizing that he only had 10. So that I was using him on all sorts of stuff, not really focusing on the one thing I wanted to use, and then realized, oh crap! I'm gonna buy as many as possible. So I only have 90. I'll be around. And now I'm going to equip it. Oh, I don't have the dexterity requirements. How much do I need? Hit Y or triangle there. So I am one away. So I can still use it, but it's going to do very little damage. I'm still going to go ahead and equip my arrows, though. Oh shoot, I was going to buy fire bombs. Do I have any yet? No. Okay. 
So anybody who's used to Dark Souls 1 and your weapon breakage will be happy to know that weapon durability resets now with bonfires. So the durability of weapons are way lower than they used to be. However, they really only break um, if you haven't rested at a bonfire for a while or if you're just hitting people way too much. There's one strength weapon, um, big hammer, called the Malformed Skull that only has 20 durability. Basically, if you're in a boss fight, you hit him about six times and it's broken. But it does, you know, upgraded, it does something like 500 damage. So there's that. Another thing to know is that enemies will not respawn infinitely. So if I was to do this 15 times, go kill that guy 15 times, he would stop respawning. The only way to get all your enemies to spawn back again is to burn a bonfire aesthetic, which puts you in basically New Game Plus for that bonfire. When you go into New Game Plus, though, your bonfires that you have burned aesthetics in will scale. So that bonfire that was New Game Plus in New Game will now be New Game Plus Plus in New Game Plus. Shortcut activate! Okay, so I am going to go take my souls and go level up. And I can actually use this stupid bow and arrow. Buy me some arrows. Oops. Bearer of the curse seeks seek the lest this. So I need one in dexterity. And I'm gonna give myself um, some more endurance, more life. Actually, I'm gonna give myself some um, faith. Because that lightning sword I'm using, the lightning will scale, so it'll do more damage the more faith I have. Strength would do more physical damage, but the lightning damage I think is more useful because uh, more enemies can't really defend against it. I'll be around. Bearer of the curse. No. Shut up. Seek souls. Shut up. Seek the king. Shut up. Lest this land. Shut up. She talks too much. Bitch, how like now? Ha <laughs> ha. So the mill breaker is a rapier, which is a dex weapon. And its strong attack can pierce shields. So if you press X or I think it's square. Sorry, yeah. On the PS3 controller. It'll tell you about the weapons, and then it'll tell you any special things that it's got. So effect, shield piercing, strong attack. So, strong attack. Whoops, that's not the right weapon. So this one will pierce anybody's shields or armor. So somebody's got a shield up. So this is the light attack. Looks exactly the same as a strong attack. Two-handed. There you go. So 
These turtles are big dicks. <laughs> I don't like them at all. Ah. They do a lot of damage. And they're very armored. They have a lot of poise. So if all those things that were around him were all flammable. If I had a fireball, I could do that, um, but I don't. So I like to get on top of these guys and do a punching attack. As long as you miss, as long as you make it. So you want to hit once, roll away, hit once, roll away, hit once. Don't get too greedy or you'll get smoosh like I did the first time. So this is where we're ultimately going. These spearmen, I hate these spearmen. They suck. Ah. Uh, and I couldn't roll away because I'm all out of, I was all out of, um. So I'm gonna use the mail breaker. I'm gonna two hand it. Whoops. Oops. There we go. Shield piercing. Shield piercing. So now we want to go kill this guy over here. Oops. Ah. Oh, man. There we go. So this is the mail breaker. Ah. Those rapier hollow sword or hollow soldiers will parry you. Clearly, like he just did. Go grab that. Go upstairs here and grab this thing. Now, I'm going to go open this door first uh, before I go back and grab this other weapon, the halberd that's up there. Just in case I die, I don't want to have to go all the way back around. So this will lead us back to the bonfire. Up there. But we're not going to do that just yet. Oh yeah, this Tynite bug. And this guy. No sleeping on the job. Let me go down here and grab this. And this is a great starting shield, this leather shield. So this leather shield, 90% damage is actually a better one as soon as we kill the second boss that does a hundred percent of physical damage block. I'm gonna switch back to my buckler though because I like to parry. So we can kill this guy up here. But watch out behind you because as soon as you so there's our halberd. There's this guy comes after you. So 
So this is locked. We can't go in there yet until we get this key, which we need to defeat the second boss for. Or the first boss for. Where the hell did you come? You're lost, buddy. That guy usually doesn't uh, pass through this door. Usually. So now we're ready to fight the first boss, but before we do that, I am going to go to Majula and use these souls. Lest I lose them. So your soul, you always want to use your souls, especially if you're going to go into a battle like this, unless you have a ring of life protection that will let you keep your souls. Um, when you die and keep your humanity. Assuming you're human when you use them, of course. Uh, but if you, your soul memory, I knew you built. your soul memory stays your soul memory regardless of if you lost your souls or not. So you really want to make sure that you use them when you've got them. <laughs> and I'm going to reinforce this one. I don't really care about any of that. So we're going to go fight our first boss, the last giant. And for this one, you really can't block. So I'm going to two-hand this. Not that. This. Because you do more damage when you two-hand it. You can also, if you don't quite meet the requirements for a weapon, the strength requirements, your requirements are um, diminished if you two-hand the weapon. I'm not going to worry about that guy. I hate that guy. I'm just going to run past him. So this one's pretty easy to beat if you can get him stuck in an AI loop. So we're going to... Um, he stomps on you. So we're going to try to get him to just stay in one place and stomp over and over and over again. Once he starts jumping around, it's harder. When you get him down to half health, he rips off his arm and he uses it as a club. And that will pretty much one-shot you, so you don't want to get hit with that. And there we go. I like to try to concentrate on one foot because he will let him stomp out both foots. But if you hit one foot, run away from it, then come back and get that foot. Um, he gets stuck in an AI loop where uh, ugh, the range on that is so irritating. Stop it. See, I was trying to um, jump attack and it wouldn't jump attack. 
It just did a regular plane attack, which is frustrating because it almost killed me. I don't like you. I'm going away. See you later. Bye-bye! Stupid head. He follows you pretty quick. There's not a whole lot of time to drink your Estus, either. You can time it right after he gets done with his three-shot combo. Um. Oh, really? Sometimes a roll doesn't work. Sometimes you die anyway. But yeah, if you can time it right after he gets some of the three-shot combo, um, he rests a little bit. I'm gonna go retrieve my souls. Go back to Majula so I can use my souls before we go fight the pursuer who was the second boss. Now that we have the key to get to him. Oh, I'm, I'm missing Tynite shards. I need three shards. And then I'm going to need a large shard. So I'm only going to buy three. Actually, I have one. So I'm going to buy two. Ah. So once you get it to plus three, you then require a large Tynite shard. And then I think once you get it to plus seven, it requires Tynite, or six, requires Tynite chunk. And then Tynite slab. And you can go to plus ten. Bearer of the seek soul, seek lest business. So now that we have the key, we're gonna get a cup we're gonna go get some stuff. First of all. Rain Restoration will gradually re increase your HP over time. It's really slow, but it does do it. it. Saves you from needing to use an SS all the time if you are just going to be running around. So for the sake of the walkthrough, I'm not really going, well, I'm not going to go do it, but I'll show you. If you want to go down here, you can open this door with the soldier key. And in this area, you will find leather armor, bastard sword, a the fourth bonfire for this area, or rather the third bonfire for this area, turtle assholes. They're not that bad to kill when they're just one of them. It's a pain in the ass when there's more than one. Ooh. 
They do a lot of damage. You don't want to get hit by those. You can actually get that turtle armor and cosplay as a turtle. I guess I will do it <laughs> since I'm here because it's a walkthrough. So I kind of, when I do that, I roll, I roll back, like I roll backwards and then I kind of run a little bit, just a little bit. There's going to be three guys over here, so be prepared, oops, not like I was. <laughs> Okay, that parry didn't really work out. Oh, I guess I probably should show you this area anyway because there is a tree, there's a giant over here that is where seeds of the trees of giants will spawn. Ooh. Ouch. You know, I don't know if you can parry these guys. I guess I've never tried. I think the fear of the turtles was instilled in me very early on in the game. Ah, <laughs> oh, thought I could hit one more time and I couldn't. There's anything? There's nothing there. Get this archer. There's two more turtles up there and some stuff. Uh, there's a bonfire here. I don't remember if the enemies respawn when I light it or when I sit. I think they might respawn when I light it too. So we can go here. Here's the um, I think it's hunter. Yeah, it's the hunter set. So here is this tree. So this seed of giants, every time you get invaded, a seed will spawn here, so you can come back and collect the seeds. You don't have to rest the bonfire in order for um, you to either respawn at it or warp to it. You just have to light it. So because that's the last one that I lit, if I die, that's where I'm going to spawn. So there are two turtles up here. Uh, 
And I don't really care. I just want to get that, and I'm outie. Later, suckers! So what did I just pick up? I picked up a red eye orb and something else. So these cracked red eye orbs, this is what I would use to invade somebody else's world with. So if I was a human, you have to be human to use them. You will invade whatever area somebody is in who has not yet defeated the boss. So if you defeated the main boss of an area, you were not in danger of being invaded there. If the boss is not yet defeated, you, you are always in danger of being invaded there. People from Dark Souls 1 will remember that you had to be human. So as long as you just stayed hollow, uh, you wouldn't be invaded. That's not the case anymore. You can be invaded when you're as hollow as hollow as hollow can be. So you are never safe. Um, there's one more thing that we're going to do before we go to the boss. One is, oh, I can't, I need that Pharaoh's Lock. Oh, do I have a Pharaoh's Lockstone? I can buy one from her for 4,000, but do I have one in my inventory? I do not. I need another 800 souls. Um, I'm actually just going to use these. Nameless soldier. Nameless soldier. 800. Thank you. You're welcome, crazy lady. Come at me, bro! Christina, smash! I feel like I can't. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is go actually get this our large soapstone. So what I like to do... Ah. You suck is go from the back because <laughs> I like it from behind and by behind I mean from the back of the castle because <laughs> I can sneak up on these suckers and I'm actually going to use the dagger because the dagger has lots of critical damage look at how much damage that did it's just a little tiny dagger. Switch back to my sword. I'll see that compared to, oh, I can't sneak up on him. Really? Ah, too slow. Oh well. What? Oh, geez. So this 
the aromatic ooze um, is a magic coating for your weapon. You kind of want to save those things. It's kind of like the pine resin, only instead of lightning, it adds magic damage. Kind of want to save those for bosses, though. There's one more. So I wonder if I can... Nope, didn't make it. So that closes when you get close to that area. I'm just gonna run all the way back and talk to Pate. Who is another NPC you can complete a story quest line. There's two people involved in that story quest line. Well, I want to do my name is I journey. Be careful. It allows on with luck. Good. So last thing we're gonna do before the boss is um, this. So there's a bunch of ballista in there. Run in, run out. One of the undead soldiers will follow you and oh, with luck he'll get... Ah, really? Shit, I'm dead. Can't run! Now I can run. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Usually if you run in and run out, he'll get shot with the ballista and then at least there's one of the rapier guys you won't have to worry about. Fighting the whole horde of these guys is kind of difficult, so I try to get them one by one. If you hit him right after he's done with his combo, he won't parry you. If you try to just attack him dead on, he will totally parry you. Got that. Got that. And now the good stuff. The good stuff is down here. This chest is trapped. If there's ever smoke coming out of a chest, look out, dodge, get the hell out of the way. White smoke means dirt. Like what just happened, but they'll always shoot in the same direction. So if you kind of like roll off to the side like that, you can avoid them. Um, green smoke means poison. So it's just a cloud of poison. Purple smoke is dark damage. Red smoke is fire damage, I think. Now we have two awesome things. Tynite slab and clomanthy ring. Tynite Slab will allow us to completely upgrade a weapon that has a Tynite upgrade path. This will help us um, its stamina recovery speed. So it, just reco it recovers that much faster, if you see. Just a little bit. And in here is a life ring. Um, 
that I don't really care for. This door is locked. But, um... Do you knock? Ah! This is not at all the direction I was trying to go. Oh my god! Run away! So if you destroy chests with stuff in it, whatever is in there will be destroyed and it will become rubbish. So you don't want to... If you're going to hit a chest to make sure it's not a mimic, mimics do exist in here. They're very rare. Only do it once. Only hit it once. Because if you destroy the chest, then the treasure is junk. I can't remember if these are... Nope. I thought maybe there was an illusionary wall there, but it's not. Okie dokie, let's go get the pursuer. Oh, 